What's up, Soul Fam? It's Sundar from Substance Service Style, and welcome to a new video. So today, um, I'm got a slightly different background because I'm in my studio today because I want to talk to you today on um, how you can create a zero waste wardrobe, a sustainable wardrobe and prolong the lifestyle, the, li the lifestyle, prolong the life cycle of your clothes. Um, so those of you who know me will know that I'm obsessed with thrift stores, secondhand stores. Ever since I was 15, I've been shopping in um, thrift stores I'm gonna call them thrift stores even though we call them charity shops in the UK but I, I prefer thrift stores um, so yeah like when I was a teenager my mom always used to come home with like ID magazine nylon magazine Vogue and I just used to pour over these really cool editorials and you know I was just obsessed um, but obviously with my very limited pocket money didn't have money for designer clothes so I used to go to thrift stores and pick out stuff that was similar and then bring it home and deconstruct it reconstruct it um, and that's where I actually taught myself all about garment construction all about draping all about pattern drafting um, I would buy books from charity shops as well on how to do those things so I've got books also here on yeah on how to I'm not gonna pull them out now, but like books on garment construction, on couture techniques, on all kinds of stuff. So I learned all of that from books. I did go to fashion college later, um, but I'll talk about that another time. So over here, I have a pile of clothing um, that needs alteration, repair, or stuff like that. And usually I do that myself. If I'm traveling, like if I'm on a model contract um, overseas, then a lot of the time if I have stuff that needs repairs or alterations, I'll just take it to a local tailor because, um, you know, in Asia compared to London, the tailors are very cheap um, and they're very abundant. They're like on every street corner, there's tailors. So I can just take stuff to the tailor and they fix it for me because I don't really have, I don't travel with a sewing machine or even like, I'll have like a small like sewing kit, like a needle and thread. Um, but a lot of my stuff, that I use for those kinds of things I have here so I can do it at a moment's notice. Now, if you're wanting to um, get into doing your own alterations and repairs, um, I do recommend that you don't need like obviously a full studio like I have here. I mean, you can see I've got like all my fashion books and sketchbooks and that's my dolly for draping stuff. Um, you obviously don't need all of that stuff. You just need, um, a sewing machine is ideal, but if you don't have one, then you can live without one. Um, ideally, you do need a needle and thread, um, several different colours of threads. I've got all different colours here. I've got like green ones and I have red and pink. So I have everything to hand whenever I need it. If I want to design something or if I want to do a repair or a customization, yellow ones. So just to have like, just even grab one of those small little ones that you get in hotel sewing kits that have like the multiple different threads and it, you know, some little um, snips or nail scissors are fine. Some fabric scissors you will need um, because if you use normal scissors then it tends to like uh, rag the fabric. Um, and another thing that you will need is an iron. Yeah, and some chalk, some tailor's chalk is usually helpful as well. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly talk you through some of the things that I um, have got in my pile and what I'm gonna be doing to them to um, to repair them. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Can I do that? I don't, I don't know if I can do this one-handed. I might have to put you on the tripod. Okay, so I've got... Um, vintage bag here it's amazing it's so 70s I love it um, but it has a rip so I'm gonna be patching that up I'm gonna put a backing on it like a some scrap leather with some leather glue um, so that will fix that um, what else have I got this is amazing I love this dress I bought this dress from accessorize it's so beautiful look at that shisha work it's like hand embroidered some poor person in a um, workshop somewhere in India made all this beautiful embroidery. Um, but yeah, so I've had some great times in this dress and then washed it and then unfortunately, this is what happens when you buy on the high street. Unfortunately, it's now too short for me. It was a really nice length when I bought it and now it's just shrunk because it's this cheesecloth. They obviously didn't pre-shrink the fabric beforehand. So I'm gonna be adding um, one second. See, I have like these little trimmings here that I just collect. These were from two different 
project that I did where I think that was taken from a duvet cover that I chopped up and made into a skirt so that's the frill can you see that the lighting is a little bit overexposed um but yeah that's a broderie on glaze frill um and this was off a vintage dress like a long 70s vintage dress that I shortened so I kept that um so I might use either of those try them on the bottom and see what I can do with it or I might actually just buy some trim from somewhere um, then I've got this beautiful um, chiffon, this silk chiffon summer dress. This is also a thrift store purchase. And for some reason, I think again, like after a couple of washes, the silk shrunk and now the lining is too long. So I don't know what happened, but I'm going to have to shorten the lining. So I've got my overlocker. I've got it up there so that's actually going to need to be overlocked or I'm going to have to do like a very sort of um like a really uh what's the word oh my mind's gone blank um just like a really really narrow hem with like a tiny tiny little thin stitch I'm going to have to do that on the lining um and then I've got yeah same sort of thing so this was also a vintage dress that I bought in Thailand or Bali I can't remember where I bought this from maybe I bought it from a thrift store I can't remember but it's very similar to the one I got on but yeah it's more of like a v-neck it's all about it's all about this the long white dress this summer I don't know if any of you've checked the trend reports for spring summer 2019 but it's all about the white dress um so this one's gorgeous but it's also not really long enough um, and I, I don't really like the length. It's like almost ankle length, but not quite. And then also, I don't really like the hem. So I'm going to take the hem off and I'm going to add one of these little things to the end. So that's another project that I've got going on. And then I've just got like handbags that just need repair, little repairs. So that's got like the lids broken off it, which is inside and it needs gluing back on. So I've got some arrow dye here and a little screwdriver. So I'm just going to glue that back on. Um, and yeah, like other things. And look at how gorgeous it is as well. Like, I mean, some people would probably chuck that away because that broke off. But this, I mean, there's no, if you're really, really time poor, then I understand why people do it. But, you know, I have the luxury of time, so I'm going to do it. And also, I love this purse. Um, so yeah, other little bags. I don't know. Actually, I think I'm going to get rid of this one because I'm not obsessed with it. And I think it is going to be quite difficult fixing this strap. Like, this is one of them little things. I mean, it's just going to take... I actually... I did actually order the bits for it. Let me see. No, I didn't. I ordered bits for another thing. But yeah, there, I... This this was actually a kind of a labour of love. I I've studied. I bought it on eBay and then I went and studied it all. So I bought these little studs from like a sort of leather work supply store, um, and then I just covered the whole bottom in studs. Came in very handy one time when me and a group of friends got molested at a religious festival in India and I remember some old man was grabbing me between the legs and so I just went <clears throat> and hit him in the face and got the studs right in his face so yeah good memories good memories so yeah I probably will repair that one because I love it um and yeah just oh this is so gorgeous this dress this is beautiful this is just like a black very simple black lace uh, sheath dress and it's backless it's got like ties that go up the back but just one of the loops this loop broke so I'm just gonna have to get some like black cord just unpick it and then sew it back in it's a five minute job so that's th those are just some tips on how you can kind of get the most out of your wardrobe if you've got like pieces in your wardrobe that you love 
because these are all pieces that I really, really enjoyed wearing and they fitted me well and they looked great and I always got loads of compliments. If, if they were things that I wasn't crazy about, I would just put them in the charity bag. But these are all quite well-worn pieces. That's probably why they ended up breaking because I was wearing them so much. So um, I do want to kind of put in the time and kind of fix them. And it's not really going to take me long. I might actually do it now because I've got the rest of the evening free um so yes uh let me know if you'd like me to do a video where i actually talk you through um like you know a diy type video where i talk you through exactly how i fix all of them um but i kind of feel like it's self-explanatory if you're not well versed with doing those things yourself then you can just take them to like your local handbag um repair shop um you know or your your local cobbler can often fix handbags because it's leather work isn't it um or your local tailor i mean those people are very skilled at, at what they do and they deserve your custom so yeah uh that's it that's kind of a random one um that's all i have to say today and um yeah let me know what else you want me to talk about i'm also going to do the the silas ivan video so keep your eyes peeled for that i want this notification that's popping up go away yes so um if you're not already subscribed make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification so that you get hit the bell notification hit the bell icon to make sure you get notifications so you know when i've next uploaded a video i'm trying to stick to a once a week schedule um i sometimes miss one um sorry about that um but yeah once a week i will be uploading one. Oh my god i've got glue on my sock um <laughs> excuse me technical issues um so yes once a week upload but yes do hit the bell notification the bell icon sorry not notification um and yes i'll see you in the next video and don't forget to like okay i'll love you and leave you guys One love. Bye. you've introduced to lsd and unless you've you've taken some other well but like for instance like um marijuana or something um well you know it's an altogether new thing and um you actually have a religious experience